Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. So we're hoping to finish out Ullard. We got a couple copies of him last time. We still have him in the desired hero summons. We have a couple diamonds. Unfortunately, we can't get him out of the Misty Valley yet. So essentially, if we cannot get him, we're gonna go ahead and just buy him to finish him out. Might not be the best option, but definitely going to be worth it. Um, we can also do a little bit of progression through 35-4. I'm hoping with the teams, with the couple levels that we've gained, we've actually gained, I think, a level, maybe a level and a half. So we can go ahead and continue through 35. So this is a lot of progression here. We're already in 35. What's going on, Damon? Dave is here. Pen Pen and Minty. Looks like Sean L. Uh, Ayler. Ryan is here again. Ibram is here. Javid is here. So everybody is in the house today. All right. So ultimately, guys, we need one single copy. We are one copy short. We got him right here to Mythic Plus. Um, we have double copies there. So we have an Elite Plus copy there. We have one copy here. So we need one. What's going on, Omega and Arland? Levi as well. So we're going to start with the desired heroes and hopefully we can pull that one copy. That is all we need, guys. We have, we have one Elite Hero Stone. Um, going through the second anniversary, we just had a little tiny code that dropped. So unfortunately, um, only 200, I think it was 200 diamonds. But let's see, guys. We got a copy of Oden, so not too bad there. He is super, super powerful. If you guys have not built Oden, he is a hero you definitely want to build in the future. What's going on, Dark Blaine? We have William Balloon. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys. So here we're lending a couple more heroes. Looks like four Manic. So I am hoping again that we get lucky with the summons. We have a couple more and we can get a card. But for the desired summons, we have two more desired summons. Racked up about 30,000 diamonds since our last summons. So now we can go ahead and again, hopefully get this last one. Once we pull him, we will have the avatar frame out of the, um, the heroic ship. And then we'll be able to focus on Peggy or Raku, which is definitely going to be cool. Um, Ninja Jakestar, first stream, welcome. Arlet is here and Madged as well. So we're gonna do single summons because I don't want to do a 30 pull, have a chance of pulling more than one copy of him. We only need one copy. Really want to build Oden, but Lilith just doesn't give me copies. Levi, it usually works like that. Um, there's a lot of heroes that did take a long time to build because Lilith was not was not willing to give us copies. Would you recommend I go all in a nine of nine to help carry me with Izold or go Lucretia? The unit, absolutely, uh, Lucretia. L Lucretia is the biggest priority um, over Alna because essentially Alna will complement Lucretia. Um, L Lucretia essentially will carry by herself. So there isn't really any more than you have to do other to build Lucretia. She will do very, very well by herself. And Zuramas joining us over on Twitch. Thank you for following. All right, guys, we have 19,000 diamonds left. And again, we want to do this one at a time because I don't want to pull, I don't want to pull doubles in here. But I'm hoping that we, that we get this copy. If not, guys, we're going to have to see exactly what we can farm. Maybe we'll get it out of the card up there. Let's go ahead and use that since we have it unlocked. Hoping to pull him. The Misty Valley opens up tomorrow for the rest of it. Copy of Cecilia, so unfortunately no Alard there. What's going on, Zathan? I have the same struggles. I've been sitting on three heroes that need the next tier due to new copies. Yeah, that, that's kind of, that's part of the game, Ryan. Um, so a lot of you know that when we were building out uh, Pharrell, I used Pharrell, and, and going back to, a, back to a good story, I used Pharrell to ascend Shamira early, early in AFK Arena, early in the career. Um, when I did use a copy of Pharrell to ascend Shamira, Lilith punished me with six months of never pulling one copy of Pharrell and never being able to get him ascended for a significant amount of time, all because they would not give me the one last copy. All right, so unfortunately, guys, we didn't pull the copy of him, so we're actually going to pick him up out of here. I already checked out the merchant ship. We got him all set. Plus, we're going to get a couple cards out of here and some diamonds so we can go ahead and start pulling for... Um, we're going to go with Raku. Raku and Peggy, it's really tough between both of them. 
Um, Peggy seems to find, has found a little bit of footage in PVP when you're trying to fight Alna. Um, Peggy seems like she's been pretty good there. Raku has been destroying a lot of formations. R Raku, guys, are, is really, really strong um, when you haven't built up. He does take a significant investment, but Raku is very, very strong. So here, guys, so Cecilia, we get one more copy of, which brings her to four stars. Very, very nice. And there he is. So we'll pick him up. Boom, he is ascended. So he is done. We want to try to build the two new heroes, Raku and Peggy, relatively quickly, um, just because we don't want to get behind. With Dimensionals coming out, if there's a new Celestial coming out, we're, we're trying to stay ahead of stay ahead of the curve, uh, essentially, for these heroes. So this one, since we have two, we don't have many copies of Raku. We'll pop, pop him in here. We'll do a summon. Hopefully, we can pull a copy. There he is, guys. We got him. Yeah, yeah, Zathan, that's what a lot of people are saying, guys, that Raku is very, very strong, especially with team comps. Um, haven't used him, haven't built him, haven't really got to test him very much. But again, a lot of players, a lot of guildies are saying he is very, very strong. What's going on, Sony? I'm going to do meme and I'm going to build Rigby because I have everything. I'm in 3828 Open Misty Valley. Yeah, Rigby's actually not too bad, guys. So Dave, Dave is going to build up Rigby. Um, ultimately, Rigby is not that bad of a hero overall. He, he does take a significant investment. And then again, some, some of the RNG that you get or some of the team comps, he's very niche kind, kind of for what he is. And here we're still building Kazard, remember? Kazard, we have met plus 26 already on the signature item. Definitely building him out. So we got two pulls there. If we pulled the 30,000 diamonds, I would be absolutely floored. Guys, remember we did pull it. I can no longer say that we've never pulled the 30,000 diamonds because we have. We, we have now. What's going on? Gian, Gianluca from Italy. Uh, when will the new dim? Anton, right now we don't know when the new dimension, dimensional hero is coming. Um, he's in the games. The skills and abilities are in the game. We're just waiting for essentially re the release. With the next patch that's coming, we know we have Izold skin. We know we have um, Lorzen skin. We also know that they're probably going to do the Magician's Hat event for the third time. So I know that is coming. So so there's a lot coming down the pipeline. It's just going to take a little bit, a little bit of time. What's going on, AFK Soul? All right, so two more pulls here. Again, looking for Kazard. He is a hero that I've never built. Welcome board as well. All right, so first pull gives us a copy of Kazard, guys. There he is. One more pull, and we will have him at Mythic Plus already. A couple more pulls, he'll be up to Ascended, which will be very, very cool. And I believe out of the ship now with our last Ascended hero, with Alard being Ascended, we can get another Desired Heroes. So, so very, very cool. So one, one 10 pull, one copy of Kazard. Second 10 pull gives us just a lot of loot, but that's okay because we definitely need some loot there as well. What's going on, Enter from Germany? I'd be happy. Yeah, yeah, if I got it again. I know, Damon. That, that'd be very, very cool. And Tam is from Scotland. Welcome, Scotland. There's Raku, guys. We're, we're building him up, and we're building up, up pretty quick. Out of this event, he is the hero that I have chosen to go with. So we'll take him right there to Legendary Plus. Already got a little bit of food. Takes Raku to Mythic. So that'll give us more, um, that'll give us more food as well. And I highly recommend building these heroes while they're in the heroic ship. That way you can pick up a lot more copies of them and you can pick them up relatively quickly, but you also do get the bonuses. So there is a large guy. So boom, there is the little avatar frame. We'll go ahead and switch that one up. Well, Raku gives us some scrolls there. Got free gear, which we got to start using out of there. Two more and he'll be done. It, it, is, it is pretty worth it if I can get another star here to pick up these 60,000 pole coins. Um, essentially, it is just going to be random. Th that, that's really going to be um, the random. I'm not going to push the heroes to five stars using desired heroes, things of that nature, because we have Raku and Peggy already kind of queued up um, that we need to get copies of within 48 days or they will be completely gone. We got our Wilder 
avatar right there. So we will swap this one and there he is, guys. So there is the new one. Allard is done. Yeah, Stargazer has been really, really good good rates. Should I spend my 31k diamonds? And who should I go for? Arlen, it depends where you're at. So, so essentially, whoever you're looking to build. Um, if you're earlier game, the diamonds are will do a lot better if you go if you go to the Noble Tavern. Um, actually, do summons. So the summons will give you quite a bit out of there. Go, going through and um, doing summons out of here versus Stargazer. If you have probably 12 to 15 ascended heroes, I would go ahead and do some more stargazing. I, I would do some more stargazing. Trash Panda is the best band. I love Trash Panda. He is one of my favorite. What's going on, GB? All right, so we got a couple summons out of here. We'll get some more emblems, which is awesome. A couple more diamonds. We got, I think, a couple pole coins. I think I picked up a couple pole coins. So still got three cards on the table, trying to finish out Lucy. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get another copy of Lucy. I'm getting burnt out with the game. Any tips or a motivation to get back into the game? Um, Jay, for a little bit, it'll be a little bit of a daily grind. And I mean, I've been playing it for almost two years. Y you, you kind of get on auto until something new drops. So even if you have to step away, take a break, spend the 15 minutes a day, do your dailies, do your weeklies, um, run the Arcane Labyrinth. Don't worry about sitting down and playing the game. That is not the way that AFK Arena is meant to be played. Um, to sit here and play this game for five hours, six hours, seven hours, um, that, that's not how the game is meant to be played, Jay. So just spend a little bit of time here and there doing it. Or a lot of people that get bored will do another, um, we'll, we'll do another account. A lot of people have went the route of doing another account just for the simple fact that you can do it completely different like what we did with our faction accounts. We can change it up quite a bit. So we did get another piece there, which it looks like eyes old guys is almost done. Should we wait for Lucretia or should we finish out eyes old? So, so that is the, um, the big one there. Why don't I have the heroic ship? The heroic ship unlocks with 10 ascended heroes. So when you go into the field of stars, you do have to have 10 ascended heroes. It is this one right here. The distant torch unlocks hero growth bundles. That is what unlocks it. So, so that will be the heroic ship. It's not what chapter it unlocks. It unlocks here with, with 10 ascended heroes. So there we go, guys, unlockable. Boom, there is our star. Additional hero choice, monthly draws, plus one. So now all the stars are done, guys. Look at that. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Lucy, Lucrita, Isold, Lucrita, Lucrita. Yep, everybody's saying Lucrita. We got, we got one on Isold from, from Pirate. But essentially, we can wait. I know the, the big thing with Lucretia is, is with Lucretia, I use her in the campaign and we use her all the time. I don't really use Isold that often, even though we kind of have him... Uh, pretty well built. I really don't use them that often. So I'm going to wait. If we do three more pulls and don't get her, we can build her anyways because we'll have our fourth red card and she is more than worth going ahead and building the fourth red card. I also leveled up the shroud today to give her some more hit points. So definitely going to uh, build her. Uh, you can make Raku Mythic Plus. I can, but I don't want to use Cirrus. Um, do I have enough here? One, two... I have three there. No, because the, the, oh, the only food down here, Dave, um, is Cirrus. We were building Cirrus before Raku was announced. Um, I'm not going to use them as food. That, that's quite a few. I don't use any, and I really stick to this one. Um, I don't use any Ascended Heroes as food unless I have them five stars. We started that from the beginning. At this point, we have almost everybody maxed out. Even here, we have Raku. We have... All miss and we have Cirrus. That is it, guys. Everybody else is ascended or higher. Um, same with most of the other counts. On here with Allard, we have we have Thane, we have Oscar, we have Rigby. That's it. Then all the light bears are done. Hendrick, we're still waiting for. So essentially out of here. Rigby, Oscar, and Thane. I'm gonna go with Thane just because Thane is utilized. Um Thane is utilized by 
for quite a bit when it comes to uh, the, the Abyssal Expedition. Uh, better to use the eye on Lucretia than the Shroud. So we'll throw the eye on her. I don't have it maxed out yet. That's one of, one of the things with her is I have to get this eye maxed out. Um, I only have it at four stars. We don't have enough for five stars. So we do lose haste. We do lose the critical strike because we don't have it five, five stars. So un unfortunately, um, we don't have that maxed out. I'm close to finishing FOS. One more send, probably going to be Raku. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Like I had said, um, a lot of guildies, and I know uh, Board and Javid can, can say the same as well as D. Um, Raku is very, very strong. Raku is a hero you definitely want to build. He is a really, really strong hero. Um, because even here in normal attacks that inflicts damage, reduce haste by 15. This ability can stack. So he's going to be a big, big haste reduction. As you can see, 20, 25. Normal attacks deal an additional 15% of the current target's health. That is right. That is not damage. That is current health, but cannot exceed 650% of Raku's attack rating. Very, very powerful hero. Looks a little bit cheesy, kind of, kind of a crazy raccoon, but... Very cool indeed. I didn't know I thought the fodder used... Oh, yeah, Dave. That's okay. Looks so dope. The Field of Stars is definitely a cool perk. Yeah, now they have talked about adding more field or more stars to the Field of Stars. If you guys haven't seen some of these constellations or, or the sides, they're going to open them up. One is to address the issues that we have, of course, with Hero Essence. So they, they've talked about... Um, giving a star that is going to allow you to acquire more hero essence, which I think would be very, very powerful because this is kind of the wall that people get stuck at is the hero essence. Honest, honestly, it's probably one of the biggest spots where most players get stuck is the hero essence. In the end of chapter 31, I'm about to go 32. Which faction should I upgrade the most? Um, factions are wilders. The wilders are really, really, really powerful. Um, Graveborn are really powerful. Maulers, Nikos, not really as much, um, but ultimately those those two factions, Wilder and Greyborn are the two main ones that you want to focus on when you're building, especially as you get further. Um, even in Greyborn, you have Damon, you have Silas, you have um, Thorin, you have Isold, you have Grez, you have Nara, Pharrell, such powerful heroes. Same with Wilders. You have Laika, Iran, you have Soros, which makes a really strong team. Um, Raku is in there now. You have Tassie. They, they have a lot of really, really strong heroes. Unfortunately, there's a couple that are out of the, the Maulers. Not a lot of people use the Maulers, but ultimately that, that is kind of the, the focus. Even here, most people use Rowan. Maybe a one-off light bearer that people use, but not really too many. Celestials, a lot of them people use. Same with the um, Hypogen heroes. And then, of course, the Dimensionals. I don't know anyone who doesn't use the Dimensionals. They, they run a ton of them. Uh, yo, what heroes would you recommend bringing to Nine Furniture besides Ainz? Um, Lucretia. Lucretia definitely is a big, big priority if you're building her to Nine of Nine Furniture. Um, Taylene does well. Alna does well. That's why we built them first. The twins, you don't really need nine of nine. If once you get further into the game, you can build them, but but you don't really need them all the way to nine of nine. But you definitely can. Yeah, yeah, Lucretia, definitely nine of nine, guys. When she has that Hellfire ability, when she has nine of nine furniture, it makes it permanent. So right there, the ability Hellfire, our strength and the flame shall no longer disappear. So that Hellfire ability will be there permanently allowing her to do a ton more damage with that ability. What's going on, Restless? What should I pick from the red chest, poke coins or essence? Um, lethal crossbow, poke coins are good, but remember guys, you can get poke coins when you go into the store every day. So when you do your refreshes, you can buy poke coins. There, there's quite a few places you get poke coins. When it comes to the essence, and this is kind of the long, the long move or the, the long play, um, when it comes to the twisted essence, you get it in such a small, small quantity out of here. I or not the Duras tears, the essence right up here, the, the twisted essence. You get it in such a very small quantity. Um, I always recommend getting it 
just because it's so limited, especially if you're not pushing far or if you're not hitting um, Legend or not hitting Diamond in the Twisted Realm, you're going to be much further down the, the Twisted Essence. It's going to take a long time to build it, essentially, is, is where you're going to get stuck. So pop these open. Yep, we're just going to go through, guys. We'll answer a lot of questions. Um, and I'm going to go auto run through the campaign. So we'll actually just try to farm, try to get some of these teams down. We have about 100 and what's that? 143, 143 level deficiency. So definitely a, a significant deficiency here. But I'm hoping we can we can get that. Currently stuck on dust and EXP. I've uh, been doing the most I can while AFK to maximize the rewards. Yeah, Ryan, it just takes time. That's really the big thing. RIP Markiplier. Yep, guys, Markiplier is gone. Unfortunately, at this point, he has left the game. But you know what? It, it was it was a good marketing campaign that, that Lilith put out there for Markiplier. A little disappointed when a lot of people said that he didn't like the game at all, but that's okay. Mullers, you want Titus, Scrag, Dress, Garath, Kren, Entendre, but they're, yeah, that, that's really, so when you look, just like what Board said, um, really the, the Maulers go a little bit down the, the priority list. Uh, essentially, they, they're not a, a, bit, a really big priority. That's why a lot of people don't use them very often because again, they're not a huge priority. I didn't know why the game is so easy to farm. Uh, the game just takes time. That's really the big thing. After Soros and Eron and the Wilders, who should I go to plus 30 signature item? William, I go with uh, Laika. Laika is very, very strong with that plus 30 signature item um, because of the damage she puts out. Her furniture makes a big difference, but she, she's really strong as far as Wilders. Tassie only needs 20. Laika only needs 20. But if you've already got the key ones built within there, it'll it'll definitely work. Is Flora good? Flora is good. Um, Flora is actually does very, very well. The thing with Flora is Flora has to be built. Or excuse me, um, Flora has to have a team that is built. So essentially with, with Flora, the team has to be able to, to, to give her enough time to do damage, essentially to really make her good. It just really takes um really takes time. So again, this is just going to be RNG to to get the Lucy cheese to work. Which which we know that. Yeah, Pippa's Pippa's good, but Pippa is another hero. Um yeah, definitely takes a a big big investment for Pippa to work. Pippa needs a little bit of furniture. Pippa needs a signature item. Um, similar to a lot of the newer heroes, they need a, a pretty decent investment. I wonder in here, so some of the heroes we're not using, let's try to do, I know we tried this before. I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to give Lucy, but I'm hoping we can make some of this work. If we can get a little bit of crowd control to get her essentially built there's a sleep hopefully lucy can just take out a couple targets that's what i'm hoping my account is so frustrating we need a fodder hero to make a mythic hero i need ira to make a mythic saurus oh yeah it, it just takes time dave that's really it i wish you was there in the game what what do you mean yeah bored um th there was a couple things on i believe it was discord and reddit that Markiplier said he really didn't like the game at all, which again, to, to me, is a little bit disappointing to even say that because I'm sure I, I'm positive Lilith paid him a bunch of money to um to do the marketing. But ultimately, if you don't like the game, the, the game is not for everybody. And we've, we've known that from the beginning. The game is not for everybody. Um, what team does Allard fit in well? Or Ullard? Um, that's a really good question. I think Board would know a lot more than I do exactly where he fits. I've tried him a couple different places. 
Um, never really had much success with Oulard. Ultimately, I, I don't know... I, I don't know 100% exactly where he fits and where he fits in really, really well. But I think Lucy might have this, guys. There we go. Lucy got that one down. Very nice. Look at that. 357 million damage by herself. Wow. That is crazy. David, I agree. I'm actively AFK while also doing everything I can possible. Yeah, and that's the big thing, guys. Like I said earlier, AFK Arena is an AFK game. There's not much else you can really say about that. Um, it, it takes time. It, it takes time to level up. It, it's the nature of the game. It's the design of the game that things are going to take take longer to do. It, it's going to take a considerable amount of time to get things done. Are you doing a tier list for artifacts now that we have them all? Um, the only tier, the only artifact out of the tier list that I did was we didn't have the very last Ranger artifact, Anir, and then we didn't have Peggy, we didn't have um, R Raku, and I think that's it. I, I think that's all we had out of there. 559 million damage, 241, very nice. That brings us, guys, look at that. The very last one, and we have Damon in here. I built Wukong, I got him some furniture, we got his plus 30 signature item, so he's built up a little bit. So I'm hoping this will work. There you go, Alard can fit in the Ein's comp to provide a shield, so very, very cool there. That might be a good way to, to swap out some of the heroes to, re to really make it work with Alard. Because again, I, I've never used him, I, I don't have him built, just like a couple other heroes. Um, I, I have to get him built. I have to see how well he does in different scenarios. I don't see why most people don't like it. I've played a lot of MMORPG games, and this one is near difference between... Yeah, I know, no, no cartographer. Um, this game is very, very free-to-play friendly. Um, short of the PvP aspect, which that's why I think a lot of players push PvP, as far as everything else in this game, it is really, really friendly. There isn't much that you cannot get over time in this game, which is awesome. It's it's very, very cool to see that they do make this game so friendly. To be honest, I didn't like the game. I played for 30 minutes and then stopped, came back six months later. Yeah, Milo, it, it's, it's a good game. It is very solid. I've played... A ton of games, as you guys know. So through the years, I have played a ton of games. This is the one that really caught my attention and really I, I was interested in when we played it. Your opinion about Joker? Um, Joker GG is good. Joker fits into a couple, couple different teams pretty well. Any of the teams that have the crowd control, because that will trigger the all-for-one effect that he has. So, so you just have to build him a team that's gonna be effective with triggering skills. I think low-key Thane needs a rework. Yeah, Ryan, I definitely agree with you there. Thane does need a rework. Um, what do you think of Peggy's uh, synergy with a Gwen team? It seems pretty solid. Peggy does kind of protect the back line pretty well. Um, ultimately though, Gwen will do well by herself, even without Peggy. So I don't know how effective Peggy really is. And Peggy doesn't really bring that much to the team out of the combination. I don't know where... It's going to be interesting to see where Peggy can fit. The only place that I've seen her, and if you guys have checked out Reddit, they have said that it works really well when it comes to Alna and P or Athalia and PvP. So, so that's one that I've seen. Guy drops a like, 130. Guy drops a like, uh, it's 130 people. Oh, very nice. That's okay. Talking about time, I'm on chapter 18, collecting SI emblems. How many of each should I collect before moving on? And look at that, guys. Some, some has joined us over on Twitch. Um, when you're collecting emblems, I bank Levi. So I bank at least the 300 of each emblem. Um, but essentially, you want to try pushing because when you finish out those chapters, you're going to get more emblems throughout the chapters. 
So just go ahead and go through there. J just keep pushing through there. Uh, what's going on, Dark Harden? So we can swap. Let's see. So we got Thor in there. We got Izold here. Again, we just really need to, to get this team to work. So we'll see. It, it'll probably take some time because we can't have everyone dying right off the bat. And Isabella, I know, is really, really tough to deal with. wonder if we could even swap in for Oden. We could do Oden or we could do Nara. I'm, I'm thinking the Greyborn here are going to be the team to get this done. But again, we can't have the heroes dying in a couple seconds. Um, who is better, Lucretia or Zap? Uh, Lucretia, absolutely. New follower, 12-5, 12, 5, 12 21. Welcome over on Twitch. Um, I've had problems with triggering Joker with Eron CC. Um, badass, I've had the exact same problem. So, so I had the same problem with Joker. Um, I don't use Joker with Eron. I use Joker with Gwen because Gwen seems to trigger really, really quick where Eron doesn't really seem, seem as much. There we go, guys. That is our final one. The Gravehorn's got it done. 252. Just got to get Damon to work. That's really the big thing, guys. So 35-4 is done. So progressing in 35. So we're going to keep doing this push through there. I'm a light spender and I'm on par with some of my friends who spend more than me. This is one of the best games I'm comfortable with spending. Yeah, and that's it. So, so if you put a little bit into it, especially as a, as a light spender, um, just always get the most for your money. So when you look at doing the investments in the game, when you have like the advancement rewards, which is by far the best pack in the game, um, as well as the Noble Society, wait to spend money till the Noble Society till you get it leveled up. I, I wouldn't spend Noble Society or money in the Noble Society when it's at level one, which is a big difference when the Noble Society is at level five. So again, ju just kind of saving some of that till till solid packs come up, good promotions come up, because you'll get more for your money. It is really the big thing. The chicken is good, especially in the forest escapade. Yeah, yeah, Skarath is good. What do I think of this? We are able to get the Skarath skin. Um, Daniel, so very interesting. If you guys have seen, I think we're about 25% right now to the Skarath skin. What I think is going to happen is... Once all of the players get all of the acorns, we're going to do a ton more damage. I cannot imagine that Lilith would take take the entire game or take the entire community and say, hey, we have a cool new Scrass skin, but no one's going to get it free to play. I, I don't know if they would really go that way because remember, the Gwen skin is already pay to win, so you do have to buy that one. I, I don't think they would do it with two skins. Honestly, I, I, I don't think that they, they would go that way with it. I, I hope not, at least. Which here, guys, if you guys have not noticed, Isabella is just destroying the campaign. There's been news all over about how tough she is to deal with. If she gets her alt off, she destroys teams, and she destroys them really, really quickly. Yeah, and that, that's what I thought some is on the test server. The damage keeps getting better as the event goes on because people are getting more acorns. What's a good team for Ainz? I'm finishing chapter 11 and can't get through it. Um, honestly, with Ainz, Matto, you just need support. That's really the big thing is going to be the support for Ainz. You have to have a team to be able to support him. If you don't have a team to support Ainz, he's not going to work. Uh, who should I give a plus 20 signature item first, Joker or Queen? That's easy, that Joker. Um, and who should I gaze for, Lucretia, that I have, E plus or Mahira? Um, I would definitely go for Lu Lucretia, Frank, if you already have the twins. If you already have the twins built, build the twins to Mythic first, guys. I really, really stress that and really focus on that because the twins are used for everything. The twins are used for all of the Twisted Realm, the Abyssal Expedition, the events that come up. The, the twins are used everywhere, guys. If you, if you haven't realized it, that's why we really focus on building the twins first, is they are, they are utilized everywhere, which is awesome. Um, has anyone figured out what's going on with the Blessed Hammer Acorn event? It does. For some reason, the Blessed Hammer in there is bugged. 
So if you've seen Reddit and Discord, do not buy the Blessed Hammer, guys. Your damage goes down about 20 to 30% with the Blessed Hammer. Um, just go ahead and pick up a couple different relics because the, the Blessed Hammer is not working. It, it is broken, unfortunately, at, the, at this time. Yep, and there is a new code out there, guys. I popped it up in the community a little bit ago. Not a big code, but definitely a um, free stuff. What's going on, Eagle Girl? Thanks for joining us. I did more damage with no relic than... Yeah, exactly. The Blessed Hammer, don't, don't buy. So far, a minus 5-star S10, no Mythic Furniture. I have a slot on my crystal, but can't decide if it's worth it. Not sure who you're building. I think I missed it, Derek. Chat's coming through pretty quick, guys. We almost have, probably between both chats, close to 200 people. We have some that are over joining us on Twitch. We have a bunch that are joining us over on YouTube. Ainz Albedo, Brutus Mortis is usually my carry. Sometimes Arthur in front of Ainz and Mortis. That's a, that's a good um, combination gaming. Big thing with that is... I, I would definitely put Arthur in front of Ainz and then put support in the middle other than Mortis. If you go with Nemesu, that's who I usually go to with that combination just because um, it, it works really, really well. It works really well with Nemesu because Nemesu brings haste. That's kind of the, the big one there. I'm stuck in chapter 22 and I do not know what to do. Um, honestly, if you're stuck in a chapter, try to repeat it, try to repeat it. Again, with AFK Arena being the game it is, you might just have to wait a little bit. Th that, that's really the big thing. Um, you might just have to wait a day or two, um, Gina Luca, and you'll be actually able to progress or progress through quite a few stages. Or just like we're doing here, it takes a long time to go through. A, a lot of rinse and repeat, a lot of stages over and over and over until you get the RNG to work with the teams. It, it just takes time. I've done a couple stages, and you guys have seen from the Look Back book um, that there's been a couple players that have done stages 999 times to get it to work, to finally get it to click, finally get it to work. They've done a, a bunch of different stages. What's going on, gaming? We got another uh, subscriber over there on Twitch. Thank you for joining us. Free to play, but I couldn't hold myself and not buying the Gwena skin. I bought it without second thought. Yeah, Nikos. And if you guys have taken the survey, make sure, guys, you, you take the, the uh, player survey. Answer it honestly. Very, very cool to see that Lilith always, always looks for our feedback. Looks for feedback on the events. Look for feedback on the hunting field. Um, they were looking for feedback on the skin. There has been a... A lot of feedback that Lilith is looking for. And they're kind of always looking for. So it, it's good to see that they care. It is really my um my big thought is, is to see that Lilith cares makes a big difference. It's awesome. If you're already at five star, I'd slot him rather than... Yeah, th thank you, Bored. Bored and Javid answering a bunch of questions. Um, Thank you, guys. Uh, one thing I hate is the new T3 stones. Is that three forces recommended because no one of the slots gives zero percentage attack? Yeah, the, the tier three stones, it's a little boost, but essentially you you don't need them. I mean, they're relatively new. They'll help out a little bit, but ultimately you 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 don't need the tier three stones. Players have been going through here without the tier three stones for a while. Yeah, I don't know about Mortis in here either. We can throw Joker in here. See how he does. No, this team's just kind of reliant on Lucy getting it done. And I was trying to go kind of back and forth and see who else we could get in here. We could get, uh, Gorbo can offer some stuns, but this can help too. He is pretty good when it comes to um, Lucretia because if she's doing damage, there's the link. Plus he brings a shield. So hopefully this will work for us. I love Mortis due to surprising paired with Ainz and Arthur. Yeah, it, it's good with Mortis's buff. And the other good thing with Mortis is you don't have to have him built. That's another really, really good thing is Mortis doesn't take a really big investment um, overall. You, you can make him work with minimal investment. 
It never gets to a point it takes a thousand tries to complete a stage. I'm going to quit. Yeah, there, there you go, Red. So, so if it takes a thousand stages, Red is out, guys. He is going to call it then. Yeah, yeah, I 100% agree with you, um, Kenneth. I, we still need the remove all button. Um, it, it's still a necessity. I, I don't think they've ever said anything about it or never did anything about it. That remove all button, we would still absolutely love love to see. Uh, 35, five teams. I'm struggling with two teams. Progression is slow right now. Yeah, when, when you get to five teams, it does get... It does get a little bit tedious, guys. Five teams takes a lot more time because again, instead of just having one RNG, essentially one RNG team that you have to get through for a stage, you gotta have five RNG teams. So that that's a lot of what AFK Arena is though. It is the, the RNG of getting this done. I would wait, um, it's just monsters doing dailies and events. Yeah, and that's it, Mato. You you exactly you hit AFK Arena right on the head. Um, it just takes time, guys. If you're stuck with progression, just like we've seen here, our level deficiency 120 to 140 is ideal. We're even pushing a little more than 140. Um, that is why it is such a struggle getting through here. Is we're pretty pretty under leveled for where we're at. I know players can do it, but the, the hundreds of thousands of retries in here, again, I know it can be done at 405 where we're at, but it, it takes a ton of time. It, it takes a very, very big investment of, of time to get these stages done. My eyes old is SI3909, but I keep losing. What am I missing? Eyes old, you have to scale AMX. That, that's really the big thing with Izold is he does have to get scaled. So you have to give him, um, you have to give him time to scale. If you don't have time for him to scale, if he can't get an alt off, he'll die really quick. Unfortunately, he will die. He will die very, very quick. Um, here is good, but she's not meta since she's, yeah. And even a lot of people have replaced um, Mahira with Tassie. So, so that's been kind of a, a go-to for some people ha has been the replacement with Tassie just because it's a cheaper version. And now there's so many Celestials and Hypogens that take priority to build. Th that's really the big. Um, is Chapter 30 late game? I would say probably Chapter 32, Fia. I, I would take late game. Anything probably 35 or 36 plus, I would say is kind of end game. Um, we used to have it broken into three sections, but now most players have broken it into four sections because now we have 40 chapters. So, so th there's a lot more to it. A uh, disappointment thing about tier three stones is it locks the faction to now one specific hero. So now you need more faction gear for your other non tier See now, board. I thought that if you take your tier stone off, so let's say I have a tier stone here for Taylene, um, and I put it on another hero, so I put it on another um, ranger hero, that it is a tier two stone at five stars. So essentially, it, it's the same thing. Um, but ultimately, yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Now you need pretty much one piece for one hero for every tier stone. You're, you're going to need a lot more. Unless you're just running with what you have, I, I guess, essentially. So using like all my stones from Ainz and putting them on another caster and then just literally keeping them there. I, I see what you mean, board. But now with the, um, with the, the guild that we can, or the, um, the guild coins that we can buy faction tier gear specifically, hopefully if we increase or, or continue with that, we can... We can get enough gear. We can get all the gear we need. My friend like played a year or something and I started six months ago, like five chapters over. Yeah, hella dude. So, so players that start now have a significant advancement over players that have played for a while because of the wish list, be, because of the rewards. They, they've changed a lot. Over, over time, they've changed, um, they've changed a lot. Thorn cheese needs so much, yeah. Absolutely, Javi. That's why I do not do the thorn cheese. 
I, I've never done the Thorn cheese, even though I have Thorn built. It's a hero. The Thorn cheese takes hundreds and hundreds of RNG to get it to work. The, the Thorn cheese is very, very difficult to get it to work. I buy uh, three Noble Societies monthly sub, two 30-day gem packs. Anything else I should buy, value your money. Um, gaming, I would just keep building. Th that's really the big thing. Keep building there. You have the monthly sub. You have the daily packs. You have the Noble Society. That's it. The only thing that I would do, so what I do, I do exactly what you do, um, gaming with beats. But the only thing I buy is during the events, I buy the promo packs. Um to get me more of the the whatever whatever the event is that's the only other packs that i buy right now which is a lot more cost efficient and i can usually pull all four of the celestial hypogen heroes and i can get a majority of the red chest when we have an event so we can definitely build a lot more out of there is pipper oden worth uh plus 30 yes um, Pippa is good at plus 30, so is Oden. I would build Oden first, um, just because we've seen the power that Oden has. O Oden is very, very good. Taylene, so we're stargazing. I have twins on the Kong disease. Yeah, Taylene AMX is still worth stargazing. Um, she's a very powerful hero. She's used in a lot of different comps. I wouldn't say she's as used as much as she was, but she's she's definitely used. She's used for quite a bit. Best here to use swap scroll for A plus 23. Um, honestly, with the swap scrolls, as long as you're getting a, a good benefit for a hero, essentially that you're not using, that was the big thing that I looked at, is looking for a hero that I don't use. A lot of people built Belinda. A lot of people don't use Belinda. So, so a lot of people have used her essentially as food because she's a hero that most people used at one time, um, but they don't use anymore. So it, it was kind of good, good to do it that way for a lot of players. With the hero specific T3 gear, how does it affect a different hero of the same faction? So essentially, if you have the, the faction specific gear or... If I have a piece again for Taylene that's built, I put it on another hero. It gives the item the tier two five star stats. <coughs> I hear my kids uh, kids laughing out, outside. Um, I would go as far as say Thorn Cheese is necessary for free to play. Yeah, again, with the Thorn Cheese mark, it, it just takes time. Thorn Cheese is a very, very specific formation that you're going to have to run a lot. And, and that's it. So players that run the Thorn Cheese, again, it might take 50, 100, 200, 500 times to get the Thorn Cheese to click. Once it does, you're, you're good. It's golden. It worked. Um, but ultimately, it, it takes a ton of time to get it to click. Just like that, guys. Right here, you can see, boom, we got victory on this one. 150, 150, both of them doing their job there. But we got that stage done. Takes time. Between the three reward system, Regal, COE, and Twisted, what do you think is worth getting the premium pass? Um, I like Ryan, I like the Regal rewards, especially if you're not later into the game. So right now, the Regal rewards are very, very good um, because you get a lot more fodder. When you start getting more heroes and start building more heroes, the Regal Rewards, you'll, you'll start stockpiling a lot of stuff once you get to the point of really not using it anymore, I guess. Yeah, the, the Red Chest will always be good. The Poe Coins will always be good. Um, you're, you're always going to need it for new heroes coming out. You're, you're going to use a majority of it forever. I, I mean, th there's going to be... A, a big, big portion that you use almost forever. Taylene or Tassie in the following. Einskop, Eins, Arthur. Um, honestly, Eins, Arthur, Albedo, Rowan. I use, I use, um, Tassie will work in there. Taylene will work in there, depending who you have built. I love running Taylene with Rowan in that comp when I go through the, um, the Misty Valley, when I go through the Dismal Maze, um, I run that comp specifically. That makes it super, super easy, guys. And look at that. We got a bunch of new subs. 
over on YouTube, it looks like that the system finally caught up to everyone joining. Again, this is just gonna take some time to get through here. And Nara is really, really tough. Plus we have some crowd control in there as well. So Tassie goes right in there, but Entendre, we got a kill with Lucy. I think we can get this down, guys. I, I think we're gonna we're gonna do it. Um, in my opinion, either the tree juice or red emblems. Yeah, both of them are good. Um, and I I kind of switch between those. If you go to tree juice one time, the next time you pick up anything from the noble society, just change it up. If you're going heavy PvP, you can stack a lot of the tree juice. That is very very heavy on PvP. Yeah, Thor Thorin gets a 2,000 retry macro. That's right, Javid. Absolute, again, insanity with the amount of, uh, amount of retries. Let's put Yukio in here. Maybe he'll be able to do something. I think we got it down. Look at that. Yukio provides a little bit of crowd control. 10 million damage. Good job, Yukio. But look at that. 305 from Lucy. Lucy doing a ton of damage there. Now back to our Graveborn comp. We'll get it. We'll get it going with the RNG. There's a guy in one of our guilds in chapter 37 with over 500 hero level. And he's like 760. Yeah, th there's a couple players that are very, very maxed out. Which is awesome to see. Uh, do you think I should make the God comp first or Lucretia? I already have Ascended Taylene and Mythic Twins. Um, I would go with Lucretia. MJ, I, I would definitely go with Lucretia. As you could just see right there in the battle we fought, she she absolutely destroys. She is such a powerful, powerful hero. Um, you can't really go wrong with her. This team is going to be tough as well. We can't have Damon die in that quick. Again, the level deficiency between here. Um, it's getting pretty high. It, it's getting pretty tough. But we'll see. We'll see what we can get. How long have you been playing this account? Um, Mateo, I think it's been probably almost going on a year. I, I think it might be a little bit, a little bit closer to a year. I don't know if it's been a year yet, but I think we're um I think it's a I think we're getting close. I think we'll, we'll swap out a couple Graveborn. Let's try Grez. I want to see if they can even hold the line up here for a minute. Because Grez is usually pretty tough to kill. But I think this is going to be pretty tough. The meta change, yeah, the meta does change um, quite a bit when new heroes come out because they have new skills and abilities and they do, usually the new heroes do a lot more damage um, than the old heroes. So most of the new heroes, they, they have a more unique dynamic, I guess, um, but it definitely changes. I'm hoping Pharrell can get a fear. Try to mitigate some of the damage that, that we're taking here for a moment. Getting there, my max tree level is 585. Yeah, that's definitely getting there. Do you have any advice for getting gold between the emblems in the store and dust? I can't afford to love my heroes past 260. Um, Viper, I mean, the really, the big thing to do to get more gold is make sure when you're looking at the guild bosses, you're you're really, really pushing them all that you can. And it'll get to a point where I, I've gotten to the point where I don't buy the emblems anymore. You're gonna have to make a trade-off between buying the emblems or leveling up your heroes. There's gonna be a point where it's gonna be, it's gonna to have to be one or the other. You don't have enough power to do or enough strength to do both of them. So I, I made a trade off between those two. Um, what hero suitable for the new celestial artifact? Um, what do you mean, Daniel? The, the new celestial artifact or celerity artifact? Um, a lot of players are not using it. If you're talking about the, the bow, there are a lot of players that are not using the bow. 
in very situational, I guess at best is, is what I've kind of seen from using the bow, um, which I, I was hoping it would be a lot better than it is. On paper, it looked pretty good. Overall, I guess the damage and the, the trigger that it does doesn't really make that big of a difference. Most people have just went right back to the shroud and they've, they've stayed with the shroud. Um, sent you a comprehensive guide for the Thor and Cheese on Discord. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out, Board. There's a um, the Thor and Cheese guide kind of heroes to stack with Thorin. Because we could even look at a couple different formations. We can try running like the Portal Party. Um, I'm sure they're going to die in a matter of a couple seconds. But we'll give it a couple tries. And then we can go back to our Graveborn. And I know, again, with the level deficiency, even though these heroes... They're not quite built as much as we need them to be. So I know for a lot of them, we can even swap Pippa here in the middle. Some teams against Portal Party are, are just get um just get destroyed, as you can see here. They they take too much damage. Too much damage too fast. You, you can't have Gorvo that survives for, for 12 seconds. Um, Gwen, we already used both of them. Who else do we got? I think that's all that we got. Portal Party. We got the stall comp here, which we could definitely try. Um, let's swap in. I think it's Silas back here. Might work a little bit because remember, it does take quite a bit to get Flora down, but I don't think Flora will do enough damage. So in here, I, I don't think Thor, Thorin will, uh, or Flora will do enough damage. Uh, Hippo did a guide to power, yeah, to, to power leveling. Now, a lot of them, I, I see some comments on videos that I've done like a year ago, and it's really, really cool to see um, that people are still finding them and still checking them out in there. It's very cool. Ainz Albedo, King Arthur Rowan, Allard is a good team. Yes, Marcello, that, that is a good team, especially with the, the addition of Allard can, can provide shields to buy Ein's time to alt that that's a very good that's a very very good team um the insane on Leica that's about it yeah Leica is very very powerful guys if, if you haven't built um if you haven't built Leica Leica is a very very strong hero she she will destroy teams um with the debuffs that she brings again guys I don't even think see 56 million, she's, they're just taking way, way too much damage. Way too fast. Flora, I still got to build up a lot as well. What's going on, Z? Thank you for joining us. Um, out of curiosity, uh, Bor, Javid, and Derek, how long have you guys been playing? I think most of them have been playing for pretty much the beginning. Uh, at least a year. Yeah, I think a lot of, a lot of people have been playing playing since the beginning since since early afk there you go so six 600 days there for javid august 2019 i believe but i spent quite a bit yeah we're trying to catch board i think he's at what four was it 450 board 450 or 460 i, I know you're getting up there quite a bit it's even here how is thorin dying so quick He's not even having a chance to alt or even come remotely close to alt. That's why they're, they're just absolutely burning him down. Boom, he died the first time. Yeah, Thor, Thorin can't even do anything. So let's try, who else do we got here? This was the teams that we were stuck with. So we got, that'll work. You know what, let's try. I wonder if we can do Gwen. But she, she's just going to get destroyed there. But I figured, I, I figured it would just get destroyed very, very quickly. We can also swap in Joker in here, maybe get... No, no quick ult. 470 now. Look at that board. Board is just pushing ahead. I was putting... Off the Field of Stones, Trial of God, but today I decided to give it a try. I managed to get two camps per team, but I had enough teams to complete it. Very nice, Constantine. Um, some of the Trials of God, it it's either you're, you're not going to make progression at all, 
or it's relatively easy. You can go through it relatively quick. Um, we've seen it on, on kind of both ends. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to just have to go back to the old team and maybe let's go, let's grab Pharrell. That way he doesn't crowd control. We're getting there, there guys. I, I knew this would be um, a lot of push and a lot of time um, getting through here. But I don't know if the Greyborns are going to be strong enough. And most of the Wilders we used. So most of them we have. We're going to have to gain a couple more levels. Probably gear up a couple more of our Wilders here. Which there's our top five. So we, so we have our top five. Maybe if we can take some of the damage by getting rid of... Or, or eyes old will just absolutely get destroyed there. But that's okay. Again, guys, just takes a lot of RNG. Uh, should I swap my three-star signature item for something else since she isn't good late game? I've been stuck at 2334 for like a week and all my heroes are ascended. Um, who do you have, um, Dennis, at three-star plus 30 signature item? I'm not sure who, who it is. Even here, guys, it's pretty, pretty much getting destroyed. So it's not looking too, uh, not looking too good here. Even taking Shimira out of there. I mean, Satrana is just running us, just absolutely running us, um, completely over. Yeah, I know. I I was picking up Pharrell, and I know we got Silas up there, just getting Damon to live a little bit, maybe a couple minutes. I'm on 675 days, but probably took way too long of a break. Oh, yeah. Aldron, it just takes time. You'll catch up. Don't worry. Can't wait till I'm pushing late chapters and doing multiple battles. Yeah, it, it takes a lot, Ryan. You'll find out once you get to two teams. Um, two teams are usually okay. Two teams most players can get with. When you start getting into three teams... It, it starts be getting getting very a lot more difficult because you start running out of gear and you start running out of team comps. You start running out of heroes. When you get into four teams and five teams, it gets it gets too much. You you get overwhelmed pretty easy um, because there are it, it's tough. It is really really tough. It's the worst when you get a team with Thorin. Yeah, exactly, Derek. They they are very very hard. Yeah, I know nullifying the heals here, but again, I think the level deficiency is playing a, a big part because they're just getting absolutely destroyed. I mean, even looking, boom, so Damon comes over here. There's his little shield, one hit. That's it. We, we had Wukong, Kalthar, too much of a, too much of a burst team. To take anyone down. Yeah, Set Setrana is very, very hard. Because she does it completely nullifies the heals. And of course, then we have Kalthar. Kalthar is just literally all over the map. Pharrell there for crowd control. Shimira does a lot of damage, especially because of her level. Um, watch Thorin. Boom. Soul siphon, and he's down. That is it, guys. I got Belinda, forgot to mention she's one copy away from four stars. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, Belinda would probably be one hero. I know short of using her for guild bosses, um, Belinda, you can probably swap, especially if you're going from having her ascended with furniture three, you know, having her with the signature item. Um, she doesn't need to be built that much, essentially, to, to be a, effective. You could swap her to another hero that is going to be effective at elite, especially if you're not using that hero. Was that... Board, board have raided you with a party of one. So we got raided over on Twitch, guys. Very, very cool. Board, board is here raiding. Um, Satrana, don't let you any of your heals. Your team is very reliable on heals. Yeah, even if we swapped, because I thought maybe with damage there. We do, you know what, let's swap out. Let's do... Energy reduction, crowd control, energy reduction, crowd control, energy reduction, crowd control. Um, 
We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if we can get this to work, especially with Damon. Damon got his alt off there, though. So this might this might be it, Javid. It just might uh might take some time. Because we're not relying on heals at all now. We're just relying on straight up energy disintegration. You try Grez to reduce their magic damage. Yeah, we we tried Grez for a while, so even swapping in here. And I know even maxed out, even with gear. I mean, boom. Not not much of a tank, especially with Satrana, because Satrana is just going to absolutely destroy him. Yeah, it, it's going to be a tough stage. I think this is going to be one that we're going to have to save for next time. I use Speedy Lizard for almost everything. It's my go-to comp. Oh, do you, do you go Speedy Lizard with Saurus? Saurus is really strong, especially when you run him with Aziz, when you run him with Tassie. Um, just like the God, the God tier, or the God tier um, trials, trials of God that we use, it, it works very, very well. What faction did I use most when started? I got stuck with light bearers and trying to build up other. We could drop Brutus in here. We don't have Brutus. There's Brutus, guys. So we have a level one Brutus, guys. What's going on? Mind of Monkey joining us over on Twitch. We have a level one Brutus, but watch this. We need his levels because he's not going to shield. Javid, we got to build Brutus. What's going on, Lareem? Thank you for joining us. Uh, do you have any heroes for Thorin? Not really. To, to do the cheese. Um... Because Lorzen, I think we use Lorzen. Yeah, I, I think that's going to just about do it, guys. We're, we're not going to be able to get through this one, but definitely we can do it next time. Even if we can get a couple of, a couple of crowd controls. But even there, I mean, with, with Wukong's bludgeon, it, it's just, even back here with Nara, and there we go. So we got Pharrell. Boom, there's the bludgeon. Nara goes down. Five-star Nara. Literally just one hit from Wukong. The AoE bludgeon takes us all down. Yeah, I think we got Gorvo. We got Gorvo in here. Let's see what Gorvo can do with the stuns. Boom. Got a stun in there. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to work on a team. This is where we've been kind of stuck before. Um, we've kind of cheesed it with the Graveborns. But ultimately, we, we, have to get, we have to get a solid fifth team. All the other teams seem to work pretty well. Um, this one really relying on Damon. But the rest of it, even with the Damon comp, do, doesn't seem... Yeah, we, we tried Eyes Old for quite a bit, Reem. Um, even swapping Izold in here again just absolutely gets destroyed. Only option we have here is Thorin. And even Thorin, he, he can't even get an alt off because of the, the energy disintegration. Yeah, see, he's not even coming close. But that's okay. Should I buy Flora or Orthos? Um, I would go Orthos. Mind a monkey. Um, Orthos is really, really strong. Flora, you will get copies of. They've been giving her us for quite a bit. Um, Flora does require a very, very strong team, I guess, behind her. Um, you do have to. Uh, geez, Wukong, I would build them. If, yeah, exactly. Wukong is just dropping it on us. Oden instead of Nara. So we'll swap out Nara. We'll swap in Oden. We'll give that a try. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking, Javid. It's just kind of, even there, Wukong's bludgeon just takes out Oden in one, one shot. Even here, there's the bludgeon. Boom. Oden goes down, literally in a shot. Yeah. Exactly. So, so we have the same thing. So again, the level deficiency, guys. Um, we'll get more gear on these guys. We'll get them leveled up. We'll figure out a fifth team, regardless of if we swap some of our other teams, guys, but very, very cool. So that will do it 
we got through another stage, which is big at this point, getting through another stage. There we go, a couple more diamonds. Um, but we finished out Allard. That is what we wanted to do, which it'll work right here. Boom, we're gonna have to level them up. We need more slots also in the resonating crystal. The resonating crystal is full and has been full. What's going on, Sono Res? So that one, yeah, Wukong was definitely destroying us on that one. But look at that. More tier stones. We need more tier stones. And a couple more there. So we're getting some gold. And I've been selling relics back, which I love every single time that we get this relic because it is maxed out. 1.4 million gold. More gold. Absolutely love it. Um, we can try, Derek. We'll try a bunch of different teams. So ultimately, when it comes to the five teams... I want to figure out something with light bearers. I know not many people use them, but we have quite a few. Um, short of Gwen, not many people use heroes in here. So, so essentially, I, I want to finish out Hendrick. We need a couple more copies. We don't use very many Maulers either. I know we got to build out Brutus, but we have Scrag built out. We have quite a few built out. Only ones that I use out of the five team comps with those is I use Rowan. And I use Sophia, I use Nemitsu, and that's it. So, I, well, we did have um, Titus. Titus and Scrath were in there for the five pole. Why others we use a lot of them? We're just going to have to continue to build. We're going to have to build a lot more of these teams out. Yeah, yeah. When you get to two teams, again, two teams um, it is a, a, a little bit easier. When you start getting to three teams, the difficulty really comes in. When you get to four and five teams, it's very, very tough. That is when you get to the point of it being increasing, increasingly uh, tough to make progression because it just takes time, guys. Not too bad, though. 35-8. Let's see where we are. A lot of people always want to know. So Wall of Legends, we are third right now, just a little bit behind, which it looks like that she made a little bit of progression. She was at 12, moved up to 24 on level 407, so we're pretty close to that level. Look at that, got Zolrath all built out as well. Very, very cool. Then up here, they are on 463. Wow, they're almost 60 levels above us, which is the reason they're in 36 already. That, that is a lot of progression, 463. But look at that, 36 already. Um, for here, we're two. So we're very, very close, which they could probably push a little bit hard, harder. But here, 464. So again, we're in second there. So not too bad. Still leading for the Wilders. Um, Light Bearers, we're not doing too well. Maulers were good, sixth. Greyborn were third. And then, of course, Wilders were first because of Pippa. And now building Raku, we'll get a little bit more there. So definitely doing well, guys. Yeah, the, the fifth team, we, we have to get the fifth team down. Whether it's building out Orthos, which within probably another week, Orthos will be done. Um, we can start building. I'm thinking of Thalia at that point, adding more stars to a couple heroes. Also here, still building out um, Kazard. So Kazard will be close. We'll go ahead and finish him out in a little bit. So yeah, we're, we're definitely getting there, guys. Very cool to see. So very, very cool to see the progression. But again, guys, 35-8, we made a ton of progression. And a lot of people are saying, how long have we been playing? This account specifically has been 336 days. So we are almost to a year on this, 510. So we got about another month. And that will be a year that we've been playing the pay to win. Remember, guys, how we started the pay to win account, um, any super chats, any donations, um, any subs we get, the income that we get from rev or the, the revenue that we get from YouTube is what we get in here, what we get in super chats, what we get in super stickers. What we get in subscriptions, we put back into here. That is how we've progressed so fast. So in a year, 35 chapters are down. We have 50 Ascended Heroes. That is right, guys. We hit our 50th Ascended Hero today, which was a large. So we will continue to build the, the last heroes that we got. So there's not too many more heroes. Light Bearer, we have Rigby, we have Oscar, we have Thane. And we also do have the new hero, Peggy. In the Maulers, we have Entendre, which we're building. So we have Brutus, we have Anoki, we have Kaesos, which again, pretty well there. Here we have Cirrus, we have Almus, and we have Raku. For the Greyborn, we have Kalthar, we have Baden, and that is it. Um, Celestials, we have most of them built. We got to build um, Zafrio, we have to build Athelia, and that will be the last two in that category. And then here we have Mizoth. 
And we have to finish out Zolrath, Kazard, a little couple more copies there. Then, of course, the Dimensionals we have. So very, very cool, guys. We are building a ton of heroes. We're almost a level 200 at this point, 35-8. So definitely making some solid progression. And make sure, guys, like we'd said earlier, make sure in here that you are doing the Forest Escapade. We need everyone to, to go ahead and continue through here. Um, on the test server, we're about 70... I think 70, what was it, 75, 76% right now. So we're just at this mark. Test server, I don't think we're going to hit 100. I really, really hope here that we're going to hit that 100%. I would be super disappointed if we missed out on the skin because this is such a, a cool battle how they have it designed. And with, with Kren and Skarath just putting our entire team into one little tiny circle and just literally raining fire on them the whole entire time, this little circle moves around. They'll catch the bombs back here, giving Kren a buff. Ultimately, making sure that you're pushing all of the damage. Um, aside Gwen, who can carry in the Light Bearer Tower? Um, the only two Teslo are Gwen and Belinda. Belinda with Rose, Gwen with Rose are, are very, very strong. Cecilia is good, but she's not going to carry. She's a, a really solid distraction. Um, Hendrik works well in there. Lucius still works well in there, but if you're talking about damage, if you're talking about being a, able to get the teams down, it's Belinda and it is Gwen. Th those are the two biggest damage dealers in there, especially when you start getting further in progression. Uh, what's your server? Let me check, Mateo, what, what server we're on. Uh, Jevy got 11 billion on this. I think we're close... I think here we hit 12, 12.2 Javid, so we are very, very close. And again, still just using all your acorns. We have all of our acorns set, so definitely nice. Uh, what server are we on? We're on uh, 578. So we are on 578 right now for the server. All right, guys, so that will do it for the live stream for today. 35-8, so we did make a little bit of progression. We should be able to get through this stage. Um, just have to figure out that fifth team. That, that's really going to be, I think, once we get that fifth team done and get it locked in, whether it's Grey Worn, whether it's a combination, I feel like we can really push some solid progression in here. We'll gain a couple more levels. We'll make a little more progression in the campaign. Continuing through 35, getting into 36, so absolutely amazing. Again, guys, thank you guys for joining me today for the live stream. Have a great Sunday. I am off to do a little bit of shopping. So again, guys, thank you guys for joining me. All the love and support that we get on YouTube, over on Twitch, and everything else that we do. Always, thank you. And of course, guys, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, and thank you for watching.